Prologue. Three Houses. Deep in the forest, the mer- The Knights of Seros, as well as many other powerful warriors, pass daily through the gates of this hallowed monastery. If strength is what you are after, we can certainly provide it in spades. They've really talked us into a corner here. I think I see where this is going. Alright, I'm in each other, work hard, and grow together. Each of our houses corresponds to one of Fodlin's three regions. Edelgard leads the Black Eagle House, which is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Dimitri leads the Blue Lion House, home to students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. And Claude leads the Golden Deer House, for students from the Leicester Alliance. So you wish to join Claude's Golden Deer. Are you certain? Yep, that's the one. I'm sure of it. We'll supervise which house. Yes, it turns out we just underwent a last minute roster change. I guess you two haven't met. This is Professor Yuritsa, our weapons instructor. Hello. Nice meeting you, uh, sir. Don't load me up with too much homework, all right? <laughs> you decide. Well, you'll certainly hear no objections from me. Professor Manuela, you and I can take charge of the remaining houses. What? It's decided already? I was at least expecting a fight. Maybe some hair pulling? And as for you, my mysterious new student, I look forward to getting to know you much, much better throughout the year. Than a mission entailing some form of service to the church. enrolled at the Academy and now they have become a member of our house? Yeah, that's pretty much the deal. Right, Professor Yuritsa? Yes. I love how you can bump into someone in the woods one night and suddenly you're living under the same roof the next. I knew we had a thing. Anyway, welcome to the Golden Deer House, where the only rule is make your own rules. Kidding, of course. Or am I? While the term's only just started, the church must really like you if they're letting you join partway through. You have to be pretty skilled to get that kind of treatment. Well, I believe it. I mean, how many people our age can cut it as full-fledged mercenaries? I definitely see why the church was interested, and I can't wait to train together. And I can't wait to eat together! Or work out! You wanna go work out? Our new friend's build is perfect as is. Wouldn't you agree, Marianne? Oh, well, I don't... Uh... Okay, okay, everyone just loosen up. And hey, it's not like we haven't met already, so just sit back and make yourself at home. I would not take after Claude if I were you, new blood. Honestly, if you wish your time here to be fruitful, you would do well to follow my lead. Every word, Professor. 
We are to crush what remains of the Iron King's thieves who attacked our camp. And with their boss Costas out of the picture, the runts that are left should be easy pickings. They can't be anything too special if we're getting them as homework. Good. Prepare yourself. Of course, Bef Oh, he's gone. Easy. So long as I'm here, this will all work out just fine. Are you sure? <sighs> That's a relief. Anyway, we're all participating in this mission. Church's rules. I didn't make them, so the only thing we can do is work together. And we're gonna lean pretty heavy on our mercenary buddy here. Hope that's okay. Yes. The bandits have fled north into the canyon bordering Count Rose land in the kingdom. But the knights have cut off their escape, and now stand ready to provide whatever support the students may require. We'll leave at once. I needn't remind you, this is the first real battle for some of our charges. I trust you will keep them safe. Though I likely do not need to worry with an old hand like you at their side. Lost sight of them? Ashamed to admit it, but yes. It's possible someone magicked the bandits away. But why go to that kind of trouble for a handful of highwaymen scum? So be it. We'll follow the blood scent. Right, of course. We'll follow... Wait, what? We're leaving. Everyone, follow me!